Creating your own app? Sounds impossible. Creating one with AI? Still sounds futuristic, right? But what if we change creating an app to vibe coding with hosting or horizons? And would you look at that? Even I can build a web application in under an hour. But what exactly is vibe coding? It's one of the most fun ways of building any project. You create websites or build a real working app simply by describing what you want. That's it. No code, no stress, no problem. Just you and Hosting and Horizons Vibe Coding AI. Let me show you the magic. So you absolutely had an app idea before. Don't be shy. I know you did. Maybe it was a habit tracker, a planner, maybe a tool to streamline your freelance hustle or track the books you've read. But coding all of it into existence, oh boy, that's a whole different story. It's time consuming, expensive, and let's face it, kind of impossible if you're not already a developer. You know that saying that you need 10,000 hours to get good at something? Well, take a look at all the available coding languages and frameworks and you'll understand why I don't give myself a chance to ever understand all of this. But what if I didn't need to understand any, and I do mean any, of the coding or app building process? For this video, I'm going to build three real web apps and two websites just by utilizing the AI Vibe coding with Hosting or Horizons. I'll also show you the exact prompts I used and what I did to make them work better. We're also going to talk about tweaking the final results as well as the current limitations here. It'll be fun, so don't you change the channel. Before we jump in, let's cover what you actually need to build a public web app. First, web hosting. It's where your app files live so people can access them online. Then a domain name. That's your app's home address on the internet. And finally, either your own knowledge or a no-code app builder. The use of those is self-explanatory, I think. Hosting and Horizons bundles all of that in one and even has a discount link below. You get a hosting, a domain, an app builder, plus one click deployment, built-in domain setup, and even a professional email address. Basically, it has everything you need to get started and be successful online. If you're curious and want to follow along, I've dropped all the links you need, including a big hosting or discount in the description. So go check those out. All right, let's put vibe coding into action, starting with the simple initial human raw idea. I want to build a habit tracker that helps me keep track of my daily routines. Good start, but it's very basic and broad. Let's sharpen it. To do that, we can simply use a free ChatGPT version. Just write, refine my prompt for a no-code app builder. The result I got, create a personal habit tracker web app that allows users to input daily habits, set reminders, and visualize progress over time. The app should feature a clean, user-friendly interface with a dashboard displaying habit completion rates, streaks, and motivational messages, including options for users to customize habit categories and set daily or weekly goals. So if you notice, it basically added way more clarification on what the builder needs to do. Remember, with all of these tools, they're smart, but not mind readers. If you don't specify that it needs to add motivational messages, well, 99% of the time, it won't add them. Just make sure your prompt clearly states what you want to see as a final result. I mean, you can keep refining it with ChatGPT until you get exactly what fits your needs. And let's run the prompt. Oh, I just love the code building. <laughs> And to be fair, I really love that the builder displays what it's doing and sort of explains why. It's not just hidden under the hood, but if you wish, you can actually get a better understanding of how apps work in general. So after I came back with my coffee, my app is already done. Let's see how it works. I got a dashboard where I can log habits, set up daily reminders and see my progress as graphs and streaks. It's simple, but polished, perfect for freelancers, students, or anyone trying to build better routines like me. Now, it's not perfect. Since it's such a new tool, there are a few quirks. Some icon placements were a bit off and the color palette could definitely use some tweaking. But when I've built this in minutes, not weeks, and for $5 instead of $5,000, I can't really complain. That's cool and all, but what if you want something simpler? Like you created the app, but why not create a blog for SEO purposes too? So let's try to create one right now. The basic idea, I need a blog about fitness tracking filled with SEO optimized content. Of course, let's run it through ChatGPT. What it gave me back was, create a fully SEO optimized blog for a fitness tracking niche. The blog should include a homepage introducing the benefits of fitness tracking, multiple blog posts, four to six, targeting high search keywords like best fitness trackers 2025, how to track workouts effectively, fitness apps for beginners, and Apple Watch versus Fitbit for fitness. SEO friendly titles, meta descriptions, H1, H2 tags, and image alt text. Fast loading, mobile friendly design, integration with newsletter signup, and social sharing. 
Use a clean, modern layout. The tone should be motivating, beginner-friendly, and informative. Include a blog name suggestion and a logo placeholder. Make the site easy to update without coding. Again, expanding on a specific task and just optimizing my general idea. Now to see what Hosting Horizons can do with it. Now for the results, amazing. The blog came out with articles, photos, and a clean minimalistic design. Like, honestly, if someone showed you this blog and told you it was made up by a team of designers, would you even doubt them? I know, I wouldn't. Now about the SEO optimization. Yeah, it did everything that basic SEO needs. Headings, images with alt text, enough content on the page, and the keyword used a good number of times. Though, a couple of things here. It's not gonna be perfect SEO for you. Since even experts don't really know what the hell is happening with Google and its SEO rules. And second, I find the builder did struggle a bit at the start here, mainly failing to link images and URLs correctly, but I fixed it with one prompt and that's it. My blog is ready to be released to the world. Okay, let's get back to apps. We could try creating something a bit more complex. Let's say a QR generator. My basic idea, I need a simple tool to generate QR codes for URLs for my YouTube channel. Let's run the same optimization with ChatGPT to improve this and we get Develop a web application that generates QR codes for user provided URLs. The app should include features for customizing the QR code's color, size, and error correction level. Provide a preview of the QR code and options to download it in PNG and SVG formats. Ensure the interface is intuitive with clear instructions and responsive design for mobile and desktop users. Now that's actually quite a lot for the AI to do, especially the PNG and SVG part. But will Horizons be able to handle it? After doing its black magic, I get... Okay, actually, it works pretty well. Like, I'm impressed. I can paste the link, customize my QR code, and hit download. I get PNG and SVG options, color tweaks, and real-time previews. Again, kind of impressive for the price it's asking, especially when all this was made with just a single prompt. This would be awesome for anyone running events, selling on Etsy, or building out a portfolio, but it's not perfect. You have to know that before getting started. Some text overlapped on smaller screens, and the overall mobile adaptation was a bit shoddy. But hey, as long as the web version works, this web app builder is fine in my book. And the best part, it's all about the vibe. So if you notice anything, just write another prompt asking to fix mobile layouts. And boom, it's done. Alrighty, Hosting Your Horizon is actually impressing me way more than I initially expected. But let's move on to another simpler example. I want to create a business landing page for my business. And I would like to have a reservation part where clients can book my consultation. ChatGPT told me this would be a better prompt. Build a professional modern business landing page for my consulting services. The site should include a clear, compelling hero section with a headline, subheadline, and a call to action CTA button. A section outlining the services I offer, testimonials or client success stories, a dedicated reservation booking section where clients can schedule consultations, integrated calendar plus form, contact section with email, phone, and social links, SEO optimized structure with proper meta tags, fast loading, and mobile responsiveness, clean, elegant design that reflects trust and professionalism, include placeholder content I can customize and ensure it's easy to update without any coding. Let's add it to the builder and see what it can deliver. And the results are, oh wow, I like this a lot. Again, I'm impressed at just how visually cohesive and pleasant to the eye all the Horizons creations are. Like, seriously, I probably couldn't create a color palette like this. I don't know. Maybe I'm just bad at color theory, but at least Hostinger's AI isn't. I really love that you not only see the real code being created for your project, but that the AI itself is kind of charming and talks to you, claiming that it zapped the bugs or aligned the vibes of the moon. It's a small thing, but it really makes this whole AI thing less scary. This website was basically without any faults. After setting up my available times, this app managed to do everything I wanted. It allowed users to book appointments and see what times were already taken. Most booking services, of course, take fees but here you only need to pay for the plan. Just imagine how much money Hosting Your Horizons can save you. The last thing I wanna build in this Hosting Your Horizons review is a somewhat more complex hydration reminder app. My starting thought, 
I want an app that reminds me to drink water throughout the day. But this time, I want to go a bit wild just to see how the AI handles it. So I'll add something like, the amount of water the user needs to drink should be based on the position of stars, the user's horoscope sign, and the wind conditions on the moon. Yeah. I don't even know how the AI is going to handle that, but after running my prompt once again through ChatGPT, I got this way more specific text. Create a playfully and visually engaging mobile app that reminds users to drink water throughout the day. The hydration goals should be dynamically calculated based on the user's horoscope sign, the current position of the stars, basic astrological logic, the wind conditions on the moon, fictionalized fun data for humor and uniqueness, app requirements, personalized daily water intake recommendations based on the above criteria, push notifications or reminders throughout the day, fun cosmic theme designed with zodiac and moon animations, user-friendly onboarding to select a star sign and opt in to lunar hydration logic, easy to update without coding, mobile first interface with clean navigation and motivational messages. Include placeholder copy for astrological messages and hydration tips based on zodiac signs. Make it quirky, mystical, and fun. Perfect for astrology lovers. So here's my final result. Select my horoscope sign with even the option for lunar winds and cosmic wisdom. I'm gonna be real with you. I spent like 20 minutes laughing after I got to see my creation. Like the AI did an amazing job and actually created a sort of cheeky self-aware hydration reminder. I didn't know I needed one, but now I do. What really stood out to me is how fully functional the app is. Sure, some text might not be formatted correctly or may be missing, but after a single prompt, this even coming with cohesive colors would probably take me a few days. And now I can spend that time on anything else while AI works on the website building and app making minds. But the thing is, once again, this tool is extremely adaptable. Meaning if you change your mind and wanna make it a more serious app, all you have to do is write another prompt and the AI will fix all of it. What did we learn after this experiment? Well, vibe coding really is the future. You don't need to know how to code, like at all. Heck, you don't even need me to do a full vibe coding explainer and there's no need to purchase five different tools either. All you need is an idea refined with ChatGPT and of course, the Hosting Horizon AI Builder. That's it. I still can't believe how cheap it is. Discount links are in the description as always, even giving you free prompts to try out. Just amazing focus on good user experience. Just remember, better prompts mean better apps and overall, don't be afraid to run these prompts a few times till you get what you need. However, it's still a fresh new tool, so I wouldn't recommend it for complex or e-commerce projects. Tools like Shopify are probably a better fit, but for 90% of the ideas that live in your notes app, hosting a horizon is more than enough. Thanks for watching this AI video to the very end. If you have questions about how this AI works or want tips on how to use it better, or maybe even a full vibe coding tutorial, either way, don't be shy, leave a comment. Check the links in the description to start building your own app today, and let me know what kind of app you'll be building first. If you like the video, hit that like button. Subscribing always motivates us to make more videos like this, and I'll hopefully see you all in the next one. Goodbye.